vibrant gold in association with Wellington Airport. And here to talk about this and make the presentation, the Chief Executive of Wellington Airport, uh, Steve Fitzgerald, and Ray Wallace, the Mayor of Hutt Valley, Hutt City. Yeah, okay. Wellington Airport was thrilled to win the Vibrant Gold in 2007. Uh, the celebrations that evening by our team have become the stuff of legend internally. Um, it was unfortunately just before my arrival. But I'd like to, uh, to recognise the organisers and their sense of humour for allowing Wellington Airport to continue to be involved. Um, particularly like to thank the organisers for lifting Andy Scotland's life ban so that she can be here this evening in her new role at Wellington City Council. In this Rugby World Cup year, we're particularly excited to sponsor the category that, that celebrates events, visitor and hospitality facilities. I'm pleased to announce tonight that your airport is ready. As you know, we have a fantastic, easy to use and friendly airport. And the addition last year of our rock is the icing on the cake and it really will create a great first and last impression for international visitors to, to Wellington. Tonight we have a fantastic list of finalists for the Vibrant Gold and I wish them the best of luck. Beside the actual playing of the game, there are several key elements to an All Blacks test match. There's one part of the ritual that everyone anticipates, almost as keenly as the predicted scoreline at the end of the game, and that's the Haka. Haka and All Blacks have been together since, well, before there were All Blacks. I still get uh, goosebumps and, and stuff when I, when I put on the jersey and go out, run out into, a, uh, into a, a stadium and perform the Haka. Over the years, there have been many different versions of the Haka and many different levels of ferocity in the performance. But in 89, Buck Shelford and his team forced Newport to retreat to the safety of their goal line. If opposing teams had problems with the haka, it has always delighted the crowds. Other countries have tried to answer our haka with varying degrees of success. the most inspirational sporting team's haka will always come from the All Blacks. Like the haka lifting the curtain and raising everyone's game, Vibrant Gold shines the spotlight on excellence in events and facilities that help enliven our community and draw visitors to our region. The growth of Wellington's cruise trade is a real success story. This season, Wellington hosted 60 vessels and 125,000 passengers and crew, up 403% over the past five seasons. The news gets better. Next season, Wellington will welcome 80 cruise vessels. Providing award-winning port services and New Zealand's only dedicated cruise terminal, Centreport and Positively Wellington Tourism are passionate about ensuring Wellington is the best little cruise capital in the world. to make the world a more satisfied place. To make each and every person in Wellington, the country, and eventually the world happier, one mouthful at a time. In just two years, it has grown to include over 100 restaurants and some 80 events. 
Last year, it put almost $2 million through the region's tills. It will be back. Vibrant Gold for 2011, Boom Rock. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, first of all, uh, Wellington Airport, thank you very much indeed. Secondly, the Boom Rock team over there, amazing bunch of professional people, thank you very much. Thirdly, all of you in the audience have worked out at Boom Rock and more importantly partied out there. Thank you for the good um, marketing you've done, word of mouth. And the, the other thing, the most important thing, is that we started this campaign for the World Cup 14 years ago. So we're ready to go, so bring it on. <laughs> <laughs>